Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena, and I'm bringing you today's word for October 8, 2015. I'm obviously not at home. I'm actually in the Dominican Republic. Uh, my wife and I are here uh, to do some things as it relates to our ministry. We're going to sponsor a Haitian school here, so we solicit your prayers. But I know there's a lot of background noise, and the lighting is not what I'm used to at home. But nevertheless, let's get into the word. So today's word today, uh, this message is part of a series entitled Grace-Based Success, where we have been learning how to win a life. How to do it God's way by his unearned and amazing grace. Our study of uh, the, the life of the Apostle Peter brought us to Matthew chapter 15. And in Matthew chapter 15, for a few days now, we've been looking at, at an altercation where Jesus had with the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. And uh, basically, they were upset with Jesus and his disciples for eating without washing their hands first. Jesus was upset with them for being hypocrites. Jesus scolded them. And then afterwards... Uh, Peter, the Apostle Peter, came and asked Jesus after things had died down to, to get a better explanation or clarification as it relates to the things that Jesus told the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. So then this is what Jesus said. Do you still have trouble understanding? Surely you know that all the food that enters the mouth goes into the stomach. Then it goes out of the body. But the bad things that people say with their mouth come from the way that they think. And that's what actually makes people wrong. All these bad things begin in the mind. Evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual sin, stealing, lying, insulting people. These are things that make people wrong. Eating without washing their hands can never make someone unacceptable to God. So instead of putting an emphasis on what comes into the mouth, Jesus was putting an emphasis on what comes out of the mouth and why. Because it's coming out of the deposit of your heart. It's coming out of, of the content and quality of your heart. Later, er, Earlier in Matthew 12 and, and another place in Luke 6, Jesus taught on that. And he explained that, that it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. So what does this mean to you today? The title of today's message is that there's a link between your words and your heart. Your words are an indication of what's in your heart. So there is a, a clear link there. And so that's why your words are so important. Uh, so let's talk about that link today and, and what that means to you as it relates to grace-based success. So I have seven things to share with you. Number one, the words you speak are a, a litmus test for the condition of your heart. Basically, your words are telling on you. Your words are telling everyone uh, what's inside of you. Your words are telling on you. Number two, you, you are your words and your words are you. You cannot disassociate yourself from your words. When someone speaks something and then they quote it, they're quoted because that's them. They can't say, well, that's what I said, but that's not who I am. No, you and your words are one. So your words are telling on you. Why? Because your words are exposing the content and the quality of your heart. Number three, daily, your words are telling everyone what's in your heart. Essentially, your words are telling the world who you really are. When you open your mouth, you're exposing to the world who you really are. You're, you're exposing on the outside who you are on the inside. Number four, if you don't like the message that your words are portraying, then it's time to make a change. And even now, as I'm ministering, if that's you and you don't like what your words are telling the world, then you know on the inside that it's time to make a change. Well, how do you make that change? Number five, to change your words or your output you must change the content and the condition of your heart because your mouth speaks out of the abundance of your heart. So number six, to change your words or your output, you must change your heart or your deposit, right? To change your heart, you must change your input, what you see through your eye gates and what you hear through your ear gates. Number seven and finally, if you can change your input, what comes in through your eyes and what comes in through your ears and gets down in your heart, then you can change the content, the quality, the condition of your heart. And if you do that, then you'll be able to change your words. And watch this. If you change your words, you will change your life. And we'll talk more about that. So let's close this message out with a declaration of faith. Use words. Speak these words over your life. Repeat after me. Say, Father, I thank you for teaching me about your grace and also my requirement to live by faith. In order to please you, I must learn to live by faith. In every area of my life, I meditate your word day and night. Jesus taught me that it is not what goes into my mouth that defiles me, but rather what comes out of my mouth. My words are an indication of the content, quality, and condition of my heart. 
to change my words, I must change what I allow through my eye gate and what I allow through my ear gate. So from this day forward, I protect my input. I don't allow ungodly things to get through my eyes or ears. I feed myself your word daily. Your word gets down in my heart. Your word fills my heart. And then your word comes out. Since my words are telling on me, I declare by faith that my words will tell the world that I am a man or a woman of faith. I refuse to allow any corrupt communication to proceed from out of my mouth. I speak only that which is good. And my words minister grace to the hearers. I declare this by faith in Jesus name. Amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org. Sign up. You're going to get the messages that will be a blessing to you as you head into this day. Just remember, there's a link between your words and your heart. So change the content and the quality of your heart. You will change your words. If you change your words, you will change your life. God bless you.